What's up everybody, Trinity here and welcome back to Second Street. In today's video, I'm going to be flapping my gums about the Immortal She-Hulk issue number one. Well, this is a one shot being published by Marvel Comics, obviously. Come on, it's, it's She-Hulk, right? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, this book, it is a one shot uh, book being written by Al Ewing. Uh, it's got art by John Davis Hunt. Uh, Marcio Menez is the color artist and VC's Corey Petit is the letterer and I will go ahead and show you uh, these names along with all the names of the variant cover artists there as well. Now before I get into the rest of this video make sure you hit that like button if you're here make sure you subscribe and all that stuff come on man come on. Now I don't really read the immortal uh, Hulk the Al Ewing is doing the ongoing one. I haven't read it, but I have heard from a lot of people that it is a very good series. That the art, uh, the artwork has been pretty, been pretty good. The story's been pretty good. I've heard it's a good book that I should read. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, so I haven't read it. I'm not really familiar with what's going on in that storyline. Let alone, I'm not like a big Hulk fan anyway. So I don't know like a whole lot of his stories or anything like that. I won't confess to know a whole lot about that. But I will tell you, um, I don't know much about Jennifer Walters' She-Hulk, neither. <laughs> but I still uh, picked this book up to give it a review, and I think this book is pretty good. Al Ewing does a pretty good job telling a good one-shot story here. Uh, kind of fills you in on, on a lot of stuff where he tells you about Jennifer Walters, how she got her powers, her deaths, her past deaths, and even her uh, current death that just happened, uh, I believe, in the Empire series, something that I didn't read, but apparently she died in there. And here we are seeing kind of the repercussions uh, of, of that and seeing her go through uh, this kind of hell uh, in her mind. But she's also, uh, we see her in, the, in this one part here, uh, she goes and she's sitting there talking to Logan. She's talking to Wolverine, uh, you know, who's uh, obviously lived a long life. And at this point, you know, the X-Men with Krakow and everything, they can be reincarnated anyway if they die. So she's talking to him about how he uh, deals with those kind of things. Just they're having that kind of a conversation. He's not really wanting to have that conversation while they're sitting there having some drinks. Well, uh, she, she ends up uh, <clears throat> uh, basically... Uh, when, when she ends up dying this last time um, she's kind of having that she ends up in this like in this like limbo and she's there and she comes upon her uh, like this dream nightmare world of her uncle uh, who was uh, uh, who is obviously uh, you know uh, her you know cousin uh, her, her cousin Bruce Banner's uh, father and she she's sitting there talking to him about some of the different stuff going on and just different things that are going on here with just like the storyline and everything like it's a pretty cool interesting conversation that they're having here like when i give get in and read i'm like oh okay i get it well also there's a uh the a villain in here revealed as well that i believe is probably going to be tying into the larger storyline going on in the immortal hulk is what i would guess um so like i said there's some things in here that i don't get because i don't know the full storyline but altogether i think that this book did a good job of telling a one-shot story where you could get something out of this. I got something out of this, and I don't even uh, keep keep up and read the Immortal Hulk series. So if you read the Immortal the Immortal Hulk, you probably want to pick this up. I would guess if you're like me though, and you haven't been keeping up with this storyline or anything like that, it's something that you might not want to check out. I mean, it's not worth spending the $4.99 or uh, anything like that for the book even if you're getting it on digital um because i'm you don't you're not keeping up with it so just reading this one book i mean it's not worth that price tag to read this one shot but if you are reading this series i would uh suggest probably checking this out i thought it was a good one shot series but i want to know from you have you been reading the immortal hulk and did you read this one shot of the immortal she hulk and what were your thoughts on it because you if you're watching this video you probably know a whole lot better than i do but that's all I have for this video today, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the Second Street Model to watch me flap my gums about some comic books and one that I don't really know a whole lot about. If this is your first time here, please make sure you're subscribed. Click the little bell if you get to get notifications. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. It's all good. You're not going to hurt my feelings, I swear. While you're at it, make sure that you share it with a friend. 
invite them to come hang out with us here on the Second Street Marvel, where we love to talk about comic books, even ones that we don't really know much about. And we'll see you in the next video. Later.